Welcome to DevNet Create. I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with my friend David. Hi, Sylvia. I'm David Fernandez. I'm a technical solutions architect for Cisco in the partner organization in the south of the United States. Oh, were you saying something? I'm playing a game here. It's really fun. Did you make this game? Oh, I did. It's actually pretty addictive. It's actually funny that I got invited to DevNet Create to show my creations because this wasn't typically one of those creations that happens when we're uh, on our 9 to 5, Monday to Friday. This is actually that kind of happened on the weekend. I just felt like I wanted to create a game and I did it and it actually became highly addictive. It's actually multiplayer, cloud-based, and we love playing it. Me and my family play it all the time. We can play remote. They're back home and we, we get engaged and play it. Let's do it. So let me explain how the game works. The game is called Color Match, and what you're supposed, well, what you need to do to beat the game, I'm actually going to send you a brand new game right now. So I'm going to click plus, and it starts a brand new game. It generates a brand new random color in the background. What you need to do is match the color of that circle that you see in there to. Oh, you're getting close. Oh, you're you're, <laughs> you're thinking about is that I have to explain the game to beat me at it. So what you have to do is move the red, green, and blue values of each of these, um, let's say these are the three components that make up all the possible colors. You need to adjust those sliders. You can go like from zero of those, which would be black, all the way to white. But what you need to do is blend that circle or match that circle into the, into the background. How are you doing over there? All right, you're getting closer. So see, when I, you know, when we start doing a new color, this is kind of like a yellowish. So it's actually pretty good for, for education as well, because uh, children start learning about the composition of colors and all like and all that uh, in a, in a very simple to to you know to handle game. So I'm getting pretty close here. I'm gonna beat you at it. I think I'm hoping. Uh, oh, I'm getting pretty close. The colors kind of blending in, <laughs> having fun. What happens now is once one of us wins, everybody gets a message. And so the part that I'm presenting here at DevNet Create is that what we're using is a cloud publisher subscriber model so that whenever we have messages to be sent across all of the phones that are participating in an active, in an active game, anything that happens during the game, everybody learns about it. So if I win, you will get a message saying, hey, David just won. And that's what makes it so competitive and intriguing and interactive. Uh, so really, this is a very powerful example of real-time communication anywhere in the world. It's fun, but it's also a great way to connect. Oh, he distracted me. No way. So I, so I took advantage of you doing that question to beat you at my own game that I coded. So funny story, me and my girlfriend play this all the time. I coded, I know every single line of code that is behind this game. There isn't many, by the way. It's actually about a dozen lines of code to make this cloud-based a multiplayer. And that's what I'm going to present in, the, in, the, in this afternoon in my lightning talk. But um, funny story is me and my girlfriend play all the time, and she beats me like 9 out of 10 times. I don't know how she does it. She must have better uh, vision than I do. Stop talking. Let's play again. <laughs> right. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Uh, see you at the next DevNet Create.